Honorable Netumbo Nandi Ndaitwa, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister for International Relations and Cooperation. Honorable Dr. Ita Kandiji Morangi, Minister for Higher Education, Technology and Innovation. Dr. Erol Naumap, Vice Chancellor. Uh, distinguished academics, uh, professors, faculty, students, uh, and friends. And uh, let me not forget to acknowledge the two High Commissioners who are also here amongst us today uh, and members of both the Indian Delegation and the Ministry of International Relations and Cooperation. It's a matter of great pleasure for me today to join you all for the inauguration of the India Namibia Center of Excellence for Information Technology, uh, INSEAT, at this prestigious Namibia University of Science and Technology, NAST. On this occasion, I would uh, like to begin by expressing my appreciation to the Honorable Deputy Prime Minister, to the Honorable Minister of Higher Education, and to the Government and Republic of Namibia, as well as those who are responsible for this center's creation, for its establishment, and for its operations. Uh, before I come uh, to, the, uh, to the matter which has uh, gathered us all today, I would also like to thank you, Deputy Prime Minister, most sincerely for your expression of sympathy and condolence at this uh, tragic uh, rail accident in India. Uh, as I uh, told you in the morning, I think such expressions of uh, solidarity at a very difficult time uh, is something that gives us all courage and fortitude as we deal uh, with, with such a terrible event. Um, at the beginning of this event, uh, the question was asked, why are we doing an inauguration? And I think it's a question that deserves a very serious answer. We're doing an inauguration because, in a way, it is an acknowledgement of uh, a great effort that has yielded fruits, uh, that we have today uh, a center which is very much an inspiration uh, as Namibia embarks on its own digital journey. Uh, it's also important uh, as a reminder uh, to uh, especially to bureaucracies and to governments, and I've spent my entire life, uh, working life at least in them, uh, not just of a job well done, but possibly as a motivation to go forward with this. Uh, and most of all, I think, as a way of uh, drawing attention to what is a very important milestone uh, in our bilateral relationship. And therefore, I'm very pleased that my visit uh, has provided an occasion, uh, and I'm truly honored today that the Honorable Deputy Prime Minister and the Minister and the entire leadership uh, of this university and others and students and uh, everybody else who's drawing benefit from this have joined me today. Now, this center is an outcome of the development cooperation and capacity building partnership between India and Namibia. And it is being pursued in line with our shared desire to develop human resources, especially of the youth, uh, and give them the right skills in the technology domain. It, of course, reflects the long-standing people-to-people uh, friendship and linkages, uh, which I think you heard the Deputy Prime Minister remind us. And today, in fact, when I called on the, uh, His Excellency the President, he himself was witness uh, to events in our past history, uh, which for which really uh, such sentiments have never have adequate words to uh, describe them. Now, I'm happy to note that this center has started offering courses uh, going back to November 2019, uh, when the Center for Development of Advanced Computing, CDAC, provided the course materials, the reference books, and much of the IT hardware and software. We recognize that the remaining installations were completed in very challenging circumstances during the pandemic, and I would again like to particularly acknowledge and appreciate those who uh, went the extra mile uh, to make that happen. Six master trainers from Namibia were given training in CDAC 
in India, uh, and their uh, role and contribution, I think, uh, should also be recognized. And I thank the Vice Chancellor and his entire team for their unstinted support uh, and collaboration to make this project a reality. With the objective of developing industry-oriented programs to address skill requirements in areas such as cybersecurity, big data analytics, and e-governance applications, and software development, the center, I believe, has been able to offer courses and to train, as I heard, more than 275 professionals, government officials from various ministries, students, teachers, and researchers. I'm happy to note that a student uh, from this very center, I believe, has won a trophy with the first position at the 6th Namibia National Cybersecurity Competition. <laughs> the courses that the center is offering are truly vital for Namibia in building a knowledge society. Uh, and this has to be done on the foundations of innovation and technology which will emerge from here. Let me illustrate some examples of the importance of such endeavors uh, from, my, from my own experience uh, and very recent experience. India's CoWin application, actually this app uh, provided the technological data backbone for our COVID 19 vaccination program and it enabled the delivery of over 2.5 billion doses of vaccination without any confusion. So when we were struggling through the COVID, one part of the challenge was obviously to produce and distribute vaccines. But the other part of the challenge, which is often not spoken about, is really to organize uh, a massive program which would allow its, uh, its uh, uh, injection to be done very, very smoothly. And this happened really because of the effectiveness uh, of the COVID platform. Similarly, our home developed unified payment interface, UPI. It has actually revolutionized digital transactions in India, taking inclusion, financial inclusion to new levels. To the extent today that 40% of the world's real-time digital payments actually take place in India. And we see this, this revolution every day in our lives. That, you know, uh, whether it is uh, today uh, house building programs, whether it's health coverage, whether it is insurance, whether it's socio-economic benefits, uh, including uh, support for, for farmers when they are undertaking crop programs, for tap water connections, for electricity connections. All of this today is happening in India in tens, sometimes hundreds of millions, precisely because it is riding on a digital backbone. So the point I want to make today is that the, this, apart from you know, the, the, the skills, the research, the awareness, uh, the creativity which this center would create. It is actually going to be increasingly central to good governance. Uh, it will, I, I heard that it would be used for the census. So it's one example, and my sense is that the more longer the center establishes itself, the more usage would naturally emerge uh, from such a talent of technology. Uh, from such a pool of technology and talent. So uh, I believe today that when we speak about digital, we should actually think not just technology, but think good governance, think, think knowledge economy, and think of a globalized workplace. And that will really build a connect which uh, Honorable Deputy PM, I think is particularly important for those of us who are in the business of international cooperation. Now, the unique feature of this center is, again, uh, other speakers have mentioned it, uh, is that it is powered by the Param supercomputer, uh, and uh, I think you have rightly named it Arup. Uh, and I, I must tell you, the Chita today is the new symbol of our partnership. Uh, and uh, 
in fact, I have in my delegation uh, a, a particular a senior official who has negotiated this and who's come back here to report to the president that the cheetahs are doing well and we are looking after all Namibians, including cheetah, very, very well in India. <laughs> so, uh, and now, uh, since its deployment, the supercomputer has seen installation of numerous application softwares to ensure its optimum usage. Uh, I'm informed that the response to workshops on high-performance computing, uh, and sir, you can confirm this for me, uh, organized by the center in with partnership with CDAC has truly been overwhelming. And this actually shows you uh, really the interest among professionals and youth. Uh, and I believe that once you know, a, a sort of technological magnet like this exists, uh, it will actually generate, uh, I think, its own creativity and its own energy. Uh, I would also like to add that this center is in fact the latest in our strong partnership with Africa, which particularly uh, targets the Gen Next in Africa. And India, in fact, has established uh, in several locations across the continent, vocational training centers, IT centers, uh, science and technology parks, entrepreneurship development centers, uh, and geoinformatic uh, applications for rural development. And I mentioned this because today uh, in our uh, discussions in the Joint Commission, which I had the honor to chair along with the Honorable Deputy Prime Minister, uh, we are looking to see how can we take our partnership forward uh, particularly in these knowledge-driven domains, and I certainly hope that we will have many more inaugurations in the times to come. <laughs> now, ladies and gentlemen, we believe that the best partnership is to develop human capital in institutions that equip and empower a nation to pursue growth as per its own priorities. India has been at the forefront to provide capacity building and training to Namibian nationals under the ITEC, the Indian Technical and Economic Cooperation Program, under the ICCR scholarship schemes, under various professional courses, uh, and really create capacity in a customized way uh, through, through exchanges and training. Uh, so far, about 1,500 Namibian nationals have received uh, training under various programs, uh, and this is something, I must say, it's a matter of very deep pride uh, for us. Now, while I have described uh, a lot of these uh, developments and cooperation largely in a bilateral framework, I would also like you to understand that this is uh, really a reflection of a larger approach uh, towards our relationship with Africa that has uh, particularly deepened after Prime Minister Narendra Modi assumed office uh, in 2014. We have seen since then intensified connects, we have seen more exchanges, we have seen projects such as these, uh, and I can see that they have made a real difference. Uh, when Prime Minister Modi was visiting uh, Africa in 2018 in one of the parliaments of this continent, he had actually declared that uh, the priority of our partners is our priority. And regarding the digital domain, in fact, he specifically observed that we will harness India's experience with the digital revolution to support and strengthen Africa's development, uh, improve delivery of public services, extend education and health, mainstream the marginalized. And that ladies and gentlemen, is today actually at the core of our uh, development partnership with Africa. In Namibia's uh, particular case, uh, two meetings between Prime Minister Modi and uh, uh, His Excellency President Gengob in 2015 and 2019, as also the visit of our president, uh, has helped to give it a very specific and concrete form. And of course, you see the results today. Uh, and uh, I, I would say, when I called uh, on President Gengob today, he strongly encouraged us to go forward. Uh, uh, and uh, our discussions today, Honorable DPM, in the Joint Commission, I think, uh, gives us 
uh, a direction. It's, it's our uh, responsibility to create a roadmap so that these endeavors can be further built upon. And I certainly assure you that India will be a very reliable partner in that regard. So as we go forward, the key tasks ahead for this center and for this university would be to ensure the center's sustainability. The center could act as a bridge between the academia and industry, something I believe it has already started doing as corporates are making use of it to upskill employees. I'm told the center is also providing services to several ministers and government bodies such as the statistics agency. Uh, and uh, I call upon the center to continue its uh, excellent work which will surely help it and the university to fully realize the objectives that it was established for. Uh, today, um, I heard from the uh, Honorable DPM as well as from the Minister, Honorable Minister, uh, the message that India could partner even more. And I want to tell you, uh, Madam Deputy Prime Minister, from this podium that we will do so. I'm, I'm happy to emphasize today that uh, when it comes to uh, the preparation of talents and skills, that we will focus much more on customized courses. Uh, in terms of technology and resources, we will certainly sit down after today's event, uh, and we would welcome ideas from those who are associated with this center, that what could be the next steps uh, to grow this relationship in this particular domain. So let me conclude by again wishing the center every success uh, in its academic and research activities. Uh, I'm confident that you will also, because I've seen this in my own country, the, the motivational, the inspirational impact that you have uh, on, on the uh, youth, uh, and that I'm confident that you will contribute to Namibia positioning itself as an ICT powerhouse in Africa and beyond, I assure you today that we stand together with you in this journey of excellence. Once again, thank you very much uh, for your attention.